afternoon. I hope you're alright. It's been a a while, sort of, apart from the last update a couple of weeks ago. So apart from that, it's been a while. Yeah, so a lot's been going on. Um, least of all my hair loss or hair cut, shall we say. Well, it's a bit of both. A bit of hair loss, a bit of a hair cut. It was more obvious that I was losing my hair before, but in a weird way now I've had it cut. It's it's less obvious. It's a weird thing. Um, so I've got some really good news this week. Um, I was amazed. Apparently, my MS is cured, uh, according to the government, who have decided that I no longer need any financial help with my MS. Now, I wish they'd told me, because if I'd known, I would have run a marathon. Uh, and we all know how the last time I did a walk went. Nobody's told me there were hills in this thing. I need to pee. Okay, I won. But that's not the point. Woo! Yay! I'm first. Despite the fact that doesn't say it. Come on. Um been injecting my Capaxone religiously, sort of, I've missed a few, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. I haven't died, I've only had, this is probably my second relapse now, since starting it, um, I've got kind of numb hands and fingers and a bit clumsy and not that much different to normal really. I did a design workshop with the Royal College of Art about sustainable living and inclusive design. Uh, they basically needed people with disabilities to go go in there and sort of make sure that people that were differently abled um, are still included in the whole design process. Um, got out there. At, helped explain to different people what MS really is and sort of because nobody really knows you say to somebody oh I've I've got MS oh I'm so sorry it's okay it's not your fault unless you're saying it is and then we've got to have a bit of a, a chat so yeah um yeah moved down to Croydon from Bradford um, it's okay, London is a bit of a culture shock compared to Bradford, there's so many more people and the tube is a nightmare. <laughs> Getting married in a little over three months and kind of getting excited not about the bill for the wedding, um, but it, it should be a good day. I hope. And I hope that my stag do, they don't do too much to me. Unlike we did to my friend on his stag do. Yeah, I realised something the other day, um, not just about me, but about everybody out there who does these video blogs on YouTube. You've absolutely no idea what is going on outside of this frame. That's it. So, for all you know, I could be naked from the, the waist down. Uh, one last thing to leave you on is if you've got MS and you're sort of my age, you know, 25, under 30, sort of fairly young. I imagine you've gone through a fairly similar sort of thing that I've been through. I've 
there's nobody my age that I can talk to and relate to and I just have to watch these videos I, there's no two way interaction there where do I go to? I was at a bit of a loss as to what to do really because all the local MS Society um, meetings they were all full of people almost exclusively twice my age now I can get on with people in their 50s um, they're, they're, they're quite good fun but we don't really have that much in common. Um, the humour doesn't really bridge that sort of age gap and they worry about other things. So it, it can be a frustrating time. I heard about this new website that had just been launched called Shift.ms. It was made by a, a guy in his mid-twenties that also had MS with a similar sort of problem. So he set this website up so he could chat to other people his own age and so that other people with MS could would have somewhere to go to. So they could uh, get in contact with other people their own age. Um, and I highly recommend it. Right, I'm going to head off, but I'll, uh, I'll catch you later. Right, bye!